May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, mercy. Lord, mercy. Christ, mercy. Christ, mercy. Lord, mercy. Lord, mercy. Glory, glory, glory to God. Glory, glory, glory to God. Glory, glory. Let us pray. O God, whom the holy innocents confessed and proclaimed on this day, not by speaking but by dying, grant we pray that the faith in you which we confess with our lips may also speak through our manner of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us of all sin. A reading from the first letter of St. John, chapter 1, verse 5, till chapter 2, verse, 20, verse 2. This is what we have heard from Jesus Christ. And the message that we are announcing to you God is light. There is no darkness in him at all. If we say that we are in union with God while we are living in darkness, we are lying because we are not living the truth. But if we live our lives in the light as he is in the light, 
we are in union with one another and the blood of Jesus his son purifies us from all sin if we say we have no sin in us we are deceiving ourselves and refusing to admit the truth but if we acknowledge our sins then god who is faithful and just will forgive our sins and purify us from everything that is wrong to say that we have never sinned is to call god a liar and to show that his word is not in us i am writing this my children to stop you sinning but if anyone should sin we have our advocate with the father jesus christ who is just he is the sacrifice that takes our sins away and not only ours but the whole world's the word of the lord responsorial psalm the psalm will be sung our soul has escaped like a bird from the hunter's net our soul has escaped like a bird from the hunter's net our soul has escaped like a bird from the hunter's net if the lord had not been on our side when men rose against us then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled our soul has escaped like a bird from the hunter's net then would the waters have engulfed us the torrent gone over us over our head would have swept the raging waters our soul has escaped like a bird from the hunter's net indeed the snare has been broken and we have escaped our help is in the name of the lord who made heaven and earth our soul has escaped like a bird from the hunter's net please stand for the gospel acclamation alleluia our god we praise you you are the lord we acclaim you the white robed army of martyrs praise you alleluia 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 alleluia
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After the wise men had left, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother with you, and escape into Egypt, and stay there until I tell you, because Herod intends to search for the child and do away with him. So Joseph got up and taking the child and his mother with him, left that night for Egypt, where he stayed until Herod was dead. This was to fulfill what the Lord had spoken through the prophet. I called my son out of Egypt. Herod was furious when he realized that he had been outwitted by the wise men. And in Bethlehem and its surrounding district, he had all the male children killed who were two years old or under reckoning by the date he had been careful to ask the wise men. It was then that the words spoken through the prophet Jeremiah were fulfilled. A voice was heard in Rama, sobbing, sobbing and loudly lamenting. It was Rachel weeping for her children, refusing to be comforted because they were no more. The Gospel of the Lord. God sent his son, born a subject of the law, that he might redeem the subjects of the law. Let us pray to him. Your response is, Father, give us life. Father, give us life. We celebrate the time when your son became man. May we grow in faith and thankfulness. Response. Father, give us life. Through your Son, who shared our human weakness, give hope to the sick, the poor, and the aged. Response. Father, give us life. Remember those in prison and all who are deprived of their freedom. Stay with them in their sorrow. Response. Father, give us life. Have mercy on the faithful departed. May they rest in peace. Response. Father, give us life. Loving Father, we ask you to hear and answer all our prayers, which we have offered before you in the name of your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your devoted servants and purify us as we faithfully serve these your mysteries by which you grant justification even to those who lack understanding through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord and Father, Lord and Lord, heaven and earth, and of your glory, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, I broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Benny, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we tend to say, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Yes. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
The communion hymn is called the Kavanchi Carol, which was written in remembrance of all the holy innocents that were martyred by King Herod. Lule, lule, thou little tiny child, bye bye lule. Sisters, too, how may we do for to preserve this day, this poor young lady for whom we sing by by Lily, Lily. King in his raging charged he had this day his men of might in his own side all the young children slain lonely lonely Thou little tiny child, bye bye, Lule, Lule. Lule, Lule, thou little tiny child, bye bye, Lule. Jubilee prayer. Lord God, our loving Heavenly Father, with great joy we thank you for the diamond jubilee of our Archdiocese. During all these years, you have guided us with your goodness and grace, uplifting our lives and enriching our different cultures. You have blessed us at all times even in trying times. Hear our prayer and renew the presence and power of your Holy Spirit in us so that we might become a fervent and witnessing church, obedient to your will and seeking justice, reaching out in a mission of mercy to all the people, especially the poor and the needy, in an encounter of love and charity, transform our hearts and make us grow united in a community of disciples and missionaries of your Son, Jesus Christ, to enable us to proclaim the good news so that all peoples may come to know them as their Lord and Savior. May we, your church, with the intercession of Mary, our mother, remain your true and living witness to our country and the world. This we ask you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, let us pray. Grant, O Lord, abundant salvation to your faithful as they receive your holy gifts on the feast day of these your saints, who, though still unable to profess your Son in speech, were crowned with heavenly grace on account of his birth, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Now I would like to call all the children in the church if the parents can bring them forward and we will have a, a special prayer and blessing for them.
Lord our God, out of the speech of little children, you have fashioned a hymn of praise. Look with kindness on these children, whom the faith of the church commends to your tender care. Your son, born of the Virgin Mary, gladly welcomed little children. He took them in his arms, blessed them, and held them up. As an example for all, we pray that you, Father, will also send your blessing on, on these our children, so that they may grow in Christian maturity and by the power of the Holy Spirit become Christ's witnesses in the world, spreading and defending the faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let this water call to mind our baptism in Christ, who has redeemed us by his death and resurrection. May the Lord Jesus, who loved children, bless you and keep you in his love now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.